So here we're going to take a look at creating a diametric projection, and I'm not 100% sure if this is the true um, definition of what a diametric is, but what I'm going to try to do here is just maintain that this should be a 15 degree angle. So if we measure our angle here, we should see this as 15. Um, both of these should be 105, and then this should actually be a 150. So we're going to try to change a, a one inch by one inch by one inch cube. Um, and then we can translate that to other geometries also um, into this diametric projection. So let's take a look at how we would go about doing that. So the first first we'll just do it with a cube. So I'm just going to create a one inch by one inch little cube here. And then in our plan view, we're going to just rotate this by 45 degrees. So um, I would actually say negative 45. So keep in mind that whatever whatever view we're looking to have is going to be from our front view. Um, so it's going to be coming from here. So if we rotate this actually by negative 45, we'll be able to see that face and that face. You can obviously rotate it 45 degrees the other way if you're looking to get that as your main view. So then go into your right viewport and we're going to use our shear command. Um, we're going to use the bottom corner over here. Um, you can really use any corner you want, but I'm going to just use this corner over here. And then don't try to click across here just in case you click on something funky. I would just hold shift or turn ortho on and just go all the way out over here and just click into the empty space. And then we're going to type 15 and then enter. And then actually in our front view, we're going to see that diametric projection pop up. So what we can do from here is do a make 2D, click OK. And then you'll see here that we have our cube. So the reason that I say I'm not totally sure if this is the, the real definition of diametric is that we have um, different distances along these lines. Um, so those are all 0.732 and then these are all one. So you're gonna have a slightly funky scaling in this direction. I mean, to my eye, this looks pretty accurate. If you try to actually make this an, an honest representation, it starts to look really funky. Um, because of the way the diametric project projection actually is flattening this out. So we would end up looking really actually pretty rectangular here if we tried to actually make this all have true dimensions. So that's basically what it would look like with true dimensions. Um, I don't actually think that looks much like a cube at that point. So I'm going to just go ahead and keep this. Um, so it'll look something like this. Obviously, if you have more geometry than this, um, basically what we could do is if we have a bunch you basically just grab everything and then again we'll do a rotate in plan view we'll go over to our right view and we'll do the shear again we'll grab a point over here and then again just hold shift and go all the way out to the to the end over here and then we'll do 15 again and then in our front view that'll pop up again so um, you have a couple of you can do it with multiple geometries. You can do it with one um, Just be careful of what you're snapping to here so that you don't actually snap to the wrong thing and end up um, Doing the wrong shear angle keep in mind that as you're doing this um, this is making your model into something really really funky so um, These are no longer prisms anymore So just save out a copy if you're gonna do this because it is gonna be a destructive way of modeling your building